Good morning, Sound Community. Welcome to another Wednesday. Uh, it's Pastor Andy coming to you live from my office here at Sion Lutheran Church, located in Lancaster, Minnesota. And this morning, as most Wednesdays, uh, is the transition into the time where I start prepping sermons. Uh, this week it comes a little bit quicker because we have Christmas Eve service on Friday, and that's two days away, and it's throwing my rhythm off just a little bit. Uh, but nonetheless, we had a good text study yesterday. We we're looking at Luke chapter 1, and I think it was Luke chapter 1, 2, Luke 2. I don't know. That's, that's how discombobulated I am, folks. Just I don't even know what the reading is. But nonetheless, we're talking about the birth narrative of Jesus, how Mary and Joseph are you know, forced to go to Bethlehem because of the census and the shepherds and the baby and all of those things. And it's and one of the questions posed by my colleagues was, what new things can we share? Because for those of us, or those of you anyway, who have been going to church for a long time, especially around Christmas, know the story. You know what happens. You know what's coming. You know what to expect. And so our struggle as preachers in that moment, pastors in that capacity, we we get really bummed because it's like, well, they know the story, so what else can I tell them? And Having never preached Christmas Eve, I feel like anything I say is new to me. It may not be new to you. Um, but I wasn't ever allowed, allowed, I guess, uh, given the privilege to preach on the High Holies. And so this is my first Christmas Eve uh, as a pastor, as a fully ordained clergy person. And it's really kind of scary, especially since there's this really low energy that I'm experiencing in my colleagues and my house and my myself. Like, it just doesn't feel like Christmas. It doesn't feel like joyous. It doesn't feel, you know, over the top energy, Christmas movies, all the things you dream of when you're a little kid. It just kind of seems lacking. And it really kind of bums me out a little bit. Because Advent is the beginning of the church year. The birth of Christ is the beginning of the shift on a cosmic level into something new. And that is exciting. God is doing a new thing, and it is through Jesus, who was born of Mary and all of those things, as you know. And so I'm really trying to live into the, the excitement of God doing something new by entering into our realm, by putting on a flesh suit and walking among us. That's pretty exciting. And that's where I'm stuck for Christmas Eve. So we'll see what comes out. I don't want to give any spoilers as to where I might be going, so you'll have to tune in and find out. But just just if you're stuck in the mire of just a tough season, just remember God is doing something new. God has done something new. God continues to do new things through Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. And that's exciting, at least to me. Hopefully you get a little excited too. With that being said, let us, let us pray into the rest of this day and those to come. Please pray with me. Holy God, thank you for today. Thank you for another opportunity to just dwell in your presence and ponder what it means to be loved by you. As we approach Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and the new calendar year, some of us feel 
like we're lacking energy. We we're missing the seasonal joy of Christmas for whatever reason, who knows, but you are always with us. You are doing something new. You continue to do new things through Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit that dwells in, with, and around us always. And that's exciting. Please continue to push, prod, and comfort us as we journey through this day and into the rest of this week. As we enter formally into the Christmas season, be with us, comfort us, celebrate with us, grieve with us, and do all the things that you promise over and over again. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. So with that, beloved children of God, remember you are blessed to be a blessing, and sometimes that blessing, blessing isn't very exciting, but you are blessed nonetheless. And that blessing that is bestowed upon us is intended to better our relationship to our neighbor. So share it. Share the good news of Jesus. Share the new things that God is doing this season. And until next time, hopefully I will see you Christmas Eve. But if not, it'll happen when it happens. Take care. <laughs>